today's video guys I'm going to show you how you can turn your lights from this to this with just a couple of zip ties Romex wire and some rats oh and an LED light kit from Amazon of course <laughs> coming up hey welcome back guys uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install an LED light kit I picked this one up off of Amazon I think it's called night or at least it's got a little logo on the side there i'm going to show you how i'm installing this on my tractor this is a brand new kubota bx20 uh no lx2610 and on this new lx2610 i want to put them up on the rops there it's a very common spot i'm doing a lot of night work right now and i can't see shit. so i got two uh two pods and a light bar included I'm going to be using zip ties to install this pretty much exclusively. I'm not doing any drilling. I'm not doing any, any uh, brackets or anything like that. I'm going to be using pretty much everything that came with the kit. It's got some quick connects. I've also, uh, I also may need to extend the wire because on the LX, the battery is right at the front. So I don't know if I got enough wire to make it to the back, but we'll find out that in a minute. Uh, yeah. So I'll click blabbering, 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 and uh, we'll get after it. All right, so like I said, I'm using all zip ties. So the first thing I was doing is just kind of seeing my positioning on where I want to put everything. Now, it's a big tractor. Um, well, bigger than what I'm used to anyhow, but. So what I did is I, I kind of already started, you can see that. I, I just put the uh, the pods right to the right to the ROPs, you know, they're not really adjustable, you know, so whatever I decide to do, I think what I'm going to actually, actually do is uh, take this off, cut these off. I'm going to take some two inch tape that I got from work and I'm just going to tape where this, uh, where these uh, zip ties are going to go. And then when I install it on and I, and I pull the zip tie tight, it's going to cinch into this tape really, really good. Not a whole lot, just a little bit there. You will hardly see it. It may even blend in better. Um, I'll do the same with the other side. I'll get this, get this guy here. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. I guess straight out, straight out slash down just a little bit. But let me do that. I'm gonna tape, tape it, zip tie it. I'll see what that looks like. All right, so we got that one installed. Yeah, I just took two or three zip ties there. I, mean, I can wiggle it side to side, but up and down, it's pretty much good. Yeah, I just taped it. <laughs> I mean, really, I don't think that looks too bad. For the time it took and the, how free it was. What I actually did is I tilted these little pods a little bit to the front. So they got like almost the whole front and side of the tractor. So um, we'll see how the vibration thing works out. Uh, I think it's going to be okay though. I'm going to do that to the other side and I'll get the, uh, the top mounted up. All right, so that's what she looks like in all her glory. I went a little hardcore with the amount of tape. I didn't need so much tape. I think I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife really quick and just like, you know, trim up the tape a little bit so you don't see it as much. But they're on there, they're secure, they're not going nowhere, and it only took two minutes. I literally have two, four, six, eight zip ties invested. Now I'm here with my tails off of my uh, lights. I've got my harness. And right off the bat, I can see my first issue, which I kind of knew I was going to run into, is um, is just the wire length. So I definitely don't have enough to make it to the battery. I think I'm pretty sure this is designed for an, a light bar off of the front of a Jeep or something like that. But uh, either way, we're going to make her work with what we got. A new New Year's resolution. Um, my so kit came with... Uh, little 12 volt connectors for these uh, little bitty wires. And I just realized I forgot cable snippers or uh, cable strippers. Um, so I don't really want to cut any wires. So I am going to end up with a little bundle of stuff up here, which I'm okay with. It's, it's kind of hidden behind the rack when you're looking at the tractor anyhow. Like I said, I'm, I'm going for ease of use. So we've got one, two, three lights. One's kind of by itself, this big guy. This is a little bit on the on the spot. That'll go there, that'll go there. And then I got a single. Yeah, so let me uh, go ahead. I'm gonna show you kind of how to 
these are really straightforward. So obviously figure out which ones you want to go where. So I got like, these are like low voltage. Um, I guess they're quick connect, right? They've got a, one side's got a flat paddle and the other side's got like a curled little thing. Hopefully you can see that, but it accepts the, uh, the paddle inside of it and then you can pull it off. Um, and then how you press them on press more or less, you're just going to insert the wire and just take your pliers and squeeze. You know, you can use the, uh, if you want real good leverage, use the inside of the pliers here and you'll be able to get, uh, you get a tight squeeze on her. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to skin. I'm going to take my little wire snippers. I'm going to skin a little bit more, um, jacket off of these. Cause I don't like how small that is. They got to realize these are extremely low amperage, low voltage, low amperage. I don't even know how many Watts these, each of these is, it's, it's not much at all. So, you know, you don't need a big, huge giant connector or anything like that. You're only transferring like, you know, not even an amp, um, at 12 volts. So remember that. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me go. I'm going to go ahead and press my, my two on here. And then I have a third way the harness is, and that's going to come up and hit the big one. All right. Hopefully you guys can see me. The audio is probably not the best, but that's okay. So yeah, if you've got wire, uh, wire, uh, strippers, you can use the inside, depending on your type, they have a little groove for the insulator. I just noticed I'm not getting the best closure on the, uh, little connector thing here. So I'm using a pair of like line pliers, line thin pliers. Um, like I'm stripping. Oh my God. I need that. <laughs> That's in a big pile of mud down below. So I'm stripping this number to like whatever, 18 wire ever so gently, just getting a little more off. I'm taking my connector. I'm sliding it in, twist these wires tight. I slide it in. I'm looking at where it's sitting on the paddle, making sure it's in there. I'm taking my pliers inside of my pliers. I should be able to squeeze it down. You have a lot more leverage with these big pliers. Yeah, you can really see it's crushed in there. And give it a pull. All right, so that's these two. I dropped two of the damn connectors, so let me jump down, I'll get this last one, and then we'll uh, we'll run these up and we'll start making them making them decent. Just make sure you're checking all your stuff. You know, like I said, low amperage, low voltage. If you have a problem with one of these light, you're gonna you're gonna know it's gonna start flickering and you're just you're losing your connection from the wire to this little connector, but they look pretty good. <coughs> All right, so hopefully you guys can see that, but I went ahead, made my little connections. I put a couple more zip ties up there, just temporary to hold the wire up. And now I'm coming down and I've got to make a decision here on this here, uh, solenoid. So I've got to attach this to the frame, right? It has to be grounded. So I'm going to be coming down this uh, left side, uh, ROPS. And I know this is painted that U bolt is just sitting on paint, but I think behind the light here is a good spot to um, reattach this bolt. I just removed this bolt here with the 12 millimeter. Now, unfortunately, I didn't want to do no drilling, but the hole for the solenoid is, is really small. I've got to open it up a little bit, and then I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to put it on here. I think I might just take my grinder ever so gently and just remove a little bit of paint back there so that this, this light, um, this light uh, makes good con like the, the bracket makes good contact with the frame and we got a good uh, we got a good ground there and then once that's attached um, I might throw like a lick of tape I'm going hard on the tape today a lick of tape around here because obviously this solenoid is removable I could pull it out right now but I only got one arm one arm one hand and uh, yeah so I don't want any water getting in there um, snow and stuff so I'll try and seal that up best I can. I'm gonna come over here. I gotta figure out where I want my rocker switch. Um, I kind of like having this thing here, like more or less full, full time. I might just drill a small hole in here. Literally just stick the rocker switch in there. And then uh, I'll put some tools and stuff in there. And when I wanna throw my lights on, I'll just open this up and hit the switch. Um, you know, lots of guys go and they take it to the 
to the front. There's actually, I think, yeah, there's a couple spots up here I could. If I wanted to drill them out, I could do that. But I'm going for quick and easy, baby. So, uh, you know, if you're one of those guys that really likes the, uh, the super clean look and running the wires inside the ROPs and getting crazy, uh, this probably ain't the video for you. Basically, yeah, so I have my, now every tractor is going to be different, you know, obviously, like I said, I got this little box here, I'm going to use it, so I've actually drilled a little hole through the bottom, I shoved my rocker switch wires up, reconnected them, and I'm, I'm going in there, I'll make it nice and tidy there, and I'm going to shove this up into here, right, you know, I'll probably throw a lick of tape on that, it'll come down, and then I got this hot mess here. So, you know, I'm not too worried about all this. I am going to zip tie it and get it, get it looking pretty. But now I got to make a decision on my power wires because, like, there's no way in hell these two terminals are going to make it all the way to the front of that tractor. So, what I'm going to do, because I don't think I have any extra terminals, I'll have a look. As I think I'm actually going to go and I'm just going to cut the wires here on the back side. I'm going to take the fusing and the... the, the uh, Ring uh, connectors, I'm gonna put them on the battery and then we're gonna have to find some wire and run some wire under, get creative, and then splice it onto these. And then, um, and that's what I look like with my, uh, what do you call it there? Solenoid. It's down there pretty good. Uh, out of the way, so, oops. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. So, you know, you're gonna have to have a look at your tractor, see what you wanna do with everything. Um, you know, I imagine they make kits that are probably a little more user-friendly. Like I said, the way these are connected and, you know, I don't have a lot of wire. It's a lot of, it's a lot of linear footage to get to the front there. So let me play with it and we'll see what we come up with. We're getting pretty close though. I'm at the point now where I'm going to try it. Um, I thought I had little automotive wire, you know, the small stuff. Um, I was going to run on a tractor. I don't. So you know what I went with? Take a guess. Good old fashioned number 12 Romex, baby. It's got two shields on it and it's gonna work just fine. Well, electrically speaking, um, you know, like I've been saying, this is a decision you're gonna have to make with your machine and how you wanna do stuff, okay? I'm not telling you this is the 100% right way to do it. I went ahead, like I said, I cut my ring terminals off the other side. I installed them here, okay? I'm using good old fashioned Moretz. Now I'm going to tape this up. I was just, I left it open to show you kind of the wiring. So, you know, on the uh, diagram here, oh, what's blown out? it's showing as, um, and you got to check this because, you know, coming from China, I've had LED lights that were, the color coding was all weird. So just check it. Positive, a ring, a fuse. So that's our power cable, right? We're always fusing the power side. And then negative, that's going to be our uh, ground. So it's going to go to the um, negative terminal on the battery, which on this tractor is it's red and black like it should be. It goes out, and now what I noticed is on the um, relay, there is no, in, you know, electrically speaking, indication of a ground here. Um, I imagine that hole is literally just to, to secure it, but, you know, we've got a ground now to the tractor frame, so that's no big deal. And then everything else is pre-wired up, right? Black to black, red to red. You matched all those up. And now we came over here. I chose to use the black wire in the Romex. The black wire in the Romex to indicate my hot wire, just like in your house, and the neutral wire on the Romex, the white, I chose to use as my um, negative, the ground. Okay, and I left the I left the um, ground wire just exposed, like it's not in use. And I ran it down. I've zip tied it to the frame. It's up and out of the way because I do a lot, quite a bit of bush work. So I may end up putting like a little bit of that. Um, split tube on it just where it's kind of underneath and then I got it coming up through the uh there's lots of room on this big LX I got it coming up and I've got it moretted to my power side that goes into my relay all right same thing the, the power for the relay is the red which is my black like your house so they're tied together neutral and negative tied together there my rocker switch is off and then I went ahead, my last thing, you know, while you're doing all this work, the safest way to do it is just to remove the fuse. You know, I took the fuse out of here, I installed that, my ring terminal's on here. Then the last thing, I install my fuse and we're gonna try it. All right, I don't expect you to be able to see me right now. It's like almost completely pitch black. I got a little bit of 
leftover sun over the pine trees, but I'm going to try and find my way to this switch here. Let's see what we get. Tractor's not running right now. I'm just running right off the battery here, okay? Three, two, one. Boop. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. F That's pretty bright. <laughs> I can't even look at them. They're so bright. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's so much better. I got full coverage. You can see at least 150 feet. Pretty good. Yeah, starting to snow now. I just kind of want to show you kind of what it looks like grabbing a bunch of lumber here. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I notice when I'm reversing though, because these are so bright, I kind of wish I had something behind. I might, I might put a little one behind. These are the one inch cutoffs from the sawmill, so I'm gonna be using those for uh, fences and stuff like that. Cool. All right, well, I'm gonna sail off into the sunset. Um, if you're new to this channel, we're a homesteading and how-to channel, and I hope you can hear this over the tractor. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Take care.